Number 21. Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. Which of the following algebraic equations could best be used to explain why, for any 3 by 3 cross, like the one shown above, the sum of the numbers in the vertical rectangle is equal to the sum of the numbers in the horizontal rectangle? And then it gives us four algebraic equations. This is an interesting problem. It's not as hard as it looks, and there's just a couple things to point out. First, we've got to talk about an algebraic equation. Now I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with what makes an algebraic equation. An algebraic equation is any equation that uses a combination of variables and constants. For example, 2x plus 1 equals 5. Well, here's, a, here's an equation. We know it's an equation because it has an equal sign. Equations have equal signs. This portion of the equation is actually called an expression. It's called an expression if it was just 2x plus 1 we would call that an algebraic expression. When we add the equal sign and a value, whether it's a constant or a variable, it becomes an equation. Okay, so without an equal sign expression, with an equal sign and some sort of outcome, it is an equation. So we have these algebraic equations here. Um, Oh, why don't I erase that? Make that larger. Okay. We'll just have to live with that and move on. Well, here's our so we have this algebraic equation. Now it's it has a rule here. It says three by three cross, and the sum of these, the sum of this one and this one, let's see, when I add them all up, I get 42. And if I wasn't so sure about that, I would just do 13 plus 14 plus 15, 5, 9, 12, 2, carry the 1, it's 42. Don't be afraid to do this type of work. Um, sure, you could do it in your head, and you could get it wrong. So it's best to take the extra step and just show the work. Whatever, whatever strategy you could use, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And this, this pattern right here, 9 plus 14 plus 19 equals 42. And again, I could just always double checking my work. Let's see, the 9 plus the 9 is 18 plus the 4 is 22. Try and do these problems out to double check and practice. So that statement is true. Now it wants me to find a... Uh, algebraic equation that describes this pattern. I think the easiest, the best way to approach this is to look at the four, look at the number that they both share. We're going to give that a box. And we're going to say, we're going to rewrite this now. And I'm going to say, we're going to say, ooh, that's not a very good box. It's a little better. We're going to say if that's a box, this one here would be whatever that box is minus 1. Because this is 14, 13 would be represented by 14 minus 1. And this one we're also going to use the box. This would be a box plus 1. Now what would this be, the 9? Well, we're using the box because the box is the 14 is the centerpiece, so that's our reference point. So what's the difference between 9 and 14? 5. So this would be box box minus 5, and the 19 would be box plus 5. And uh, then I would be able to 
to generalize if I put in an x for these values. And if I rewrote this again, I could write my equation as x minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 equals, oops, I'm going to bring that equals down over here, equals x minus 5 plus x plus x plus 5. The reason why I kept it with the box is because I'd, I'm trying to show you that it doesn't, we don't always have to pick x when we, we pick our variable. It's x represents something. For example, I could have, it's just, it's just, I think that it's, it helps to visualize that the x could be any value. For example, the x could have been 27, and I would put that in my box, and then I'd be filling in 27 here, and, you know, roughly I could get the same, the, the rule would apply. The sum of these, the, the, uh, ver the, the vertical sum and the horizontal sum would be the same, whatever I put in the box. So to, to sort of generalize that concept of whatever the sums are, I just give it as an x. So if I look at my answers here, number d uses that method. For the common number, they choose x, and then they write the following terms in terms of x, just like we did. And they write it as an equation. We know that by the equal sign. Um, you know, a doesn't work all the time. B doesn't work all the time. Um, C does work depending on what value, but it, it doesn't work for any cross that I use. I could use a different set of a different cross numbers like these ones right here. And it's it's not going to um, it's not going to always it's not going to work in that sense. So this is, uh, this is the approach to use to get the answer for number 21. I call it, if I had to give this a, if I had to give this a method, I would, in using the algebraic, forming algebraic equations, I would say look for the common uh, number, turn that into an x, and write all the, all the numbers that uh, are in connected with it in terms of x. This will help you get that algebraic equation.